in a city of Manila where three IT students were assigned to make a door lock system device for their school project was being traveled by a former group member for his inappropriate behavior and wrongdoings. Ken, the leader of the group, a humorous person who relies on sarcasm when solving awkward and problematic situations, he is also nice, kind, and forgiving. Carl, the troubled person who is having family issues that must resolve it by drinking and using drugs. Gio, a self-righteous classmate who was full of pride and was downright obnoxious among the group, a very toxic young man who only cares for himself. Not so much. Having been sober since October, having a mess of family like men can be stressful, and they must numb the pain through alcohol and drugs. Yikes, that may be a problem. In fact, you may be the problem if our science project turns out to be completely utter fail. So to completely avoid that outcome, you must drink and pop some pills while you're still on our group working on this project, or I'll call the cops on you, you junkie. Nah, just kidding. But I will though. Maybe. Just maybe. Can you lend me some? I haven't tried it before so I wanna know what it feels like to be high. I don't think that's a good idea. You might trip and go all out on the first try. I'll be good, I promise. Nah, maybe some other time. <laughs> Whatever, Carl. It's a promise. You have my word. Gio silently walking towards Ken and Carl talking in the room. What's up, ladies? Gio immediately noticed Carl high and tipsy. Well, look what we have here. A homeless wasted junkie. Hey, back half weirdo. You're the only weirdo around here, and don't tell me to back up. You say that again and report you to the principal's office for being drunk and high in school, or better yet, tip you up on the cops. Annoying little rat. What was that? Nothing. Never mind. So anyway, I promise I won't be doing these things while still working with you guys on this project. I swear on my dearest products. Haha, <laughs> good one. Anyway, this door lock system device of ours should come out great and reliable when we submit it on the day of submission. We can use that Arduino thingy. You mean the open source electronic prototyping platform that enables users to create interactive electronic objects? Like I said, a weirdo. Very impressive, Carl. Is this the power of drugs? <laughs> We're IT students. We should know this stuff, unlike Mr. Macho over that has brown and not brains. Indeed. Phew! It was my idea, by the way. We should try and gather up information about this Arduino platform, so we can develop the device with ease. I won't let you down. Very well then, I'll be counting on you. Wait, we haven't come up with what our group name is. How about Young, Wild and Free? Gio poses and start to mock Carl. What the? 
We ain't no junkins and rappers. What do you think of us? 6ix9ine and Lil Pump? Just shut up and let me do the talking. Let's call it... Gio and Prince. You're not the leader of the group. We shall call it Brain, Brawn, and Beer. I'm the brains around here. Uh, and obviously, obviously not. Gio is the bronze and beer for our drinking buddy, Carl. Speaking of beer, let's go get a drink. My treat. Who's in? I'm in. Oh, you love that, don't you? You wanna go, bro? Come at me, bro. Knock it off, you two. We have a long week ahead of us. They may not be perfect, but they are still good friends. I'm running out of time. As day two come by, Ken conducted a group meeting in the early morning at the park and talked about the plans for the system device project. All right, have I made myself crystal clear? As clear as crystal meth. This is rubbish. Why do I have to provide for materials? You're rich and spoiled, that's why. And Carl's needs for alcohol and drug consumptions require funding. No offense, Carl. None taken. What? Never mind. I'll do it for my grades. You better not to get in the way, Carl. Why do you have to be mean all the time? I don't know. I just hate being around with a junkie like you. Give him the left hook, Gringo. And down goes Mr. Obnoxious. Lucky shot for a junkie. The drug is working fine as wine, Carl. Now I know why they use it in sports. Gio stands up, proceeds to fight Carl. That's enough. That was a good fight. Good fight? I haven't landed a punch in his face yet. Fought with words, Gio. That's how obnoxious people fight. They rant and rant like brats. Whatever, I'm out of here. What's wrong with that fool? Don't mind him. He's always been like that. Day 3 and 4 has passed. As the days gone by, the three of them work hard for their part, including the troubled one who's having issues with his family. As Carl was working day and night, he can hear the loud noises downstairs. The arguing and fighting of his parents goes on and on.
How long does this tournament last? Carl takes a dose of pill. Carl looks at the syringe. If this keeps going, he'll be in my way out, little buddy. Carl was thinking that he got no one to rely on but himself. Mixed emotions are what he's feeling on that day. Words cannot describe what he's feeling right now. He can't escape the truth. The truth of ending up alone for the rest of his life. Without guidance, without direction, and supervision from a family's familiar voice. Everything went gone in just a pull of a trigger. And it came from a rogue family member. The one who is supposed to protect and defend the home. He can no longer suffer anymore. So for the last time, he injected himself with heroin, and later that day, he was found overdose. As the school announces a former student's death, the submission of the project was moved for another day. On the day of Carl's burial, Student teachers and school staffs gather around to bid one last farewell to Carl. Days has passed, only two days until the submission day, Ken and Gio are having trouble because the hardware device was Carl's task and was left in his house. So they conducted a plan to visit the crime scene and mustered up courage to retrieve the device in his room. As they arrived at his house, they slowly remove the covers of the crime scene, and quietly sneaks inside. This is a bad idea. Shh! Be quiet. This is for school purposes. Literally. Ah, you're learning, my dear friend. A beeping sound can be heard on the side of the door. Gio and Ken see a device mounted on the side. Shock on what they saw, it's the door lock system device that they've been working on. What's the password? Why do you need the password for? The device right there. That's what we came for. I know, but don't you want to know what lies behind this room? I'm curious. Gio tries to enter a password. As they tried and tried several times, Gio had realized that the password is Brain, Brawn, and Beer, for it was their group name. Then suddenly, it begins to unravel that all along, Carl cared more about his friends, and his background team was picture of them three hanging out.